Thank you for watching Dad's Got Eats. Today we are making some yellow rice with corn, some chicken cutlets, and some tostones and maduro. Yummy. Don't forget to bookmark, follow, hashtag, and share with your friends. This is what the rice looks like just when it's ready to get covered. You don't want it to dry out too much, but you need it to start boiling. So at this point, once it starts to boil, you want to place the lid to trap the heat, lower the fire to low. Yep, electric stove. The fire is a little different. I actually learned to cook on fire versus electric. It took me a while to get used to it. Um, you're watching Dad's Got Eats. Okay, you're watching Dad's Got Eats. So I have some really thin chicken breast and I'm going to flour and uh, fry deep fry so I kind of need this chicken to be a little bit on the dry side so I'm just patting it down and trying to get some of the moisture out of there so, so as I put in the seasoning it'll kind of grab a little easier um, you can do this I do recommend it that you pat it down so it's a little bit on the dry side. That's what it should look like. Um, and then just season. Someone, a couple of episodes ago, asked me how to ripen a platano from this to this, basically. How do I get a yellow? When it goes from green to yellow to darker black, it actually gets sweeter like a yellow banana. Not as sweet, but it get, it does get sweeter than this. And I'll show you how to make both. This one you wanna fry and not flatten. This one you wanna fry halfway and flatten to make tostones. This would just be maduros. But we'll get to that in a few seconds. Right now we just wanna season our chicken breast. Get that ready. All right. And even though it's flat, I'm gonna mix it all up because I need to season the other side. Put some garlic, I love garlic. Everybody gets garlic, no matter who you are. And a little black pepper. Oops, a little black pepper there. And we're also gonna season our flour. Most people don't, but I do, because the last thing you wanna do is bite into a piece of fried anything and the flour hasn't been seasoned, it's just bland. Then this, secret weapon. This has coloring and a lot of flavor. And it also has salt. If you notice, I don't put any salt. That's purposely, because most of the foods that we cook anyway have salt in it. So you can see the yellow color or the orange color. It's gonna turn into a nice red color. And when it fries, it acts, it's actually nice. I think you would enjoy it. Um, don't forget to follow and bookmark and send in those suggestions. The rice is coming along. About, just gave it a couple of turns. You can see how fluffy that is. It's coming along. I have another 15, 20 minutes. About 45 minutes to an hour for rice to cook. You can use a rice cooker, you can use instant rice. I think if I made instant rice, I'll probably burn it because I don't know how to cook instant rice. You're watching Dad's Gotta Eat. <laughs> okay, the next step would be to season our flour. And putting a little garlic again. Plenty of garlic there. Some parsley. This is the other end. Put some parsley in there. Okay. A little black pepper. And if you're using this, the Goya Sazon, it does have salt. So don't double salt. You won't like the flavor. Give that a quick shake. So you can see what the flour looks like. It looks pretty good. This is ready to start breading some chicken and right into the fryer. All right. Okay, so we're gonna do the bananas first before the chicken. I'm actually using the same pan. And the reason I'm using the bananas 
is because it, once you put the flour into the oil, that's pretty much it for the oil. So we're gonna peel these bananas like you would any other banana. Banana, banana. Um, there's our banana. You can see the color of that. And then the next one is our green banana. This one's a little trickier to peel. You can actually put it in hot water, it softens up the peel, but I'm so used to doing it like this that I don't know any better. You strip this a little bit as the oil is actually heating up. So there goes one, two, and three. You can see the difference. How this one is actually soft, where this one doesn't have as much flex. So the one, this one back here, we're just gonna slice up and fry it as is. Where this one, we're gonna cut it on an angle because this is gonna cook halfway, then it's gonna come out, we're gonna flatten it, and then we're gonna cook it again, actually double cook. Okay, you're watching Dad's Gotta Eat. Okay, we're gonna put in our stone is first remember these the one that I cut on an angle get a double fried comes out for a little bit flattened out and then it goes back into the fryer oops sorry about that okay then our maduros which I've cut ground you can hear when it goes in that it has more moisture in it. You can see the difference. And the reason I cut one round and the other one on an angle is so you can identify them. But you should be able to see it as it's cooking. There is a difference, believe it or not. And I'm cooking the bananas first before the chicken, as I said, um, because of the flour. So, I don't know if I answered the question. Somebody asked me, how do you take the madu, the tostones and turn them black or darken so they get sweet and maduro? Um, the first step is do not refrigerate. The cold air actually slows the, um, the ripening down. <clears throat> you can see the tostones already changing color and the maduros look totally different. Um, so if you just leave it at room temperature or inside a plastic bag, it will ripen. No different than any other banana you have at home. These will ripen differently. Even though they're getting black and you're, going to, you're in the back of your mind, you're going, oh, this is garbage. Let me throw it out. Nope. They're getting sweeter as they get darker. You don't want it to get black and dry because then it is garbage. Um, you just want them soft and getting nice and dark. The darker the better because it's gonna just get sweeter. All right, so that's our Platano and Maduro story, which was in one of the other episodes. I don't remember how far back, but it's in there. It's an explanation. And I hope the young lady who asked me the question, I didn't answer her question. Okay, you're watching that Got Eats. At this point, you see the Maduros. Not the Maduro, I'm sorry about that. The, uh, the tostones and the maduros look totally different. You can see the difference. One's a little softer. So we're gonna take these tostones out before they cook fully through, because if they cook fully through, they do get a little hard. Because they're gonna toast up. Take that out. And now you know why I cut them differently. So you can identify them. Um, you don't wanna really squeeze a maduro. <laughs> It's basically squeezing a banana. And there's one here, one here, and the rest is sweet banana. As you can see, they're starting to change colors. Okay, leave that frying an extra few minutes because this is not completely done. And the next step is we're gonna mash up some tostones. Okay, so the next step is um, to mash our tostones. Some people will use a, a plate, a pot, a bowl, use anything. As long as you're flattening it out, that's the key. You can also buy one of these. I have it. I don't know how old this one is, but it's pretty old. And it has this circle in the middle, which I don't like, because once you get this in there 
and it opens up, it's kind of hard to take it out of the edges. So basically I use it just, I don't know, just to use the back of it, mash it down, and there you go. No magic. And then you're gonna take this and you're gonna refry that. So there's a second one. Sometimes they stick, so that's why I have the spatula. Take that, press, get you going over there. Give that a press. You're not mashing it to the point where you can't really pick it up, but you get the logistics. And you keep going. You can use three bananas, four bananas, as much as you want. Basically like banana chips. Once it's deep fried, which we're gonna show you in a second, then you can salt, put a little garlic and oil on it, and that's a meal on its own. Okay, the maduros are ready to come out, as I said. You see what they look like once they're cooking and they're cooked. Take that out. Put that on a drying rack. Get rid of the excess oil. And they are sweet. Try not to squeeze them. Because if you squeeze them, you're not gonna like it. Actually, they get mushy, but they're sweet. This I can have all day long with some ketchup and hot sauce, and I'm good to go. <laughs> I use that, uh, that Frank, I put that uh, bleep, bleep, bleep on everything. Yeah, that's me. I love Frank's hot sauce. This Maduro, it is done. Look at the color on that. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? You're watching Dad's Gotta Eat. Okay, so we mashed up a couple of totones there. You can see the difference, how thin they are. Put that back in the fryer. Let that do its thing. I actually have a niece that went to the University of Arizona. For a whole week, Uncle, uncle, how do I make this? I'm tired of eating ramen noodles. How do I make this? How do I make that? I don't want any more ramen noodles. Nothing wrong with ramen noodles. They're actually pretty good. You're watching Dad's got to eat. But I helped her out. She started eating real food. So tostones are frying along. This is one of those food items that you don't want to walk away from because they do cook really fast. You don't want to cook this in low heat because they basically absorb all the oil like sponges. Um, and then you're not gonna like what you're gonna get. You want them a little high heat, 350, 375, somewhere in there. And just let them do their thing. It doesn't take long, as you can see. It's already frying up. These are almost ready to come out. The next is the chicken breast, our thinly cut chicken breast. And you're watching Dad's Gotta Eat. Okay, time to drop our chicken breast. They're thin, they don't take long to fry up. So don't drop it and walk away or get to your cell phone. Okay, the thinner, the faster it cooks. You're watching that, Gary. Don't forget to share your recipes, send them in. Um, bookmark, send in those suggestions, and share with your friends. You're watching that, Gary. Okay, we are about to plate up our chicken and yellow corn with rice. We're gonna put our chicken breast, thinly sliced chicken breast, one there. Ah, what the hell, one there. We're gonna put some tostones, of course, and a couple of my favorite sweet maduros. And this is ready to go. And there's our plate. You're watching Dad's Got Eat. Don't forget to bookmark, follow, share with your friends, and send in those suggestions, which are my favorite. Next, uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you for watching Dad's Got Eat.